Hey everybody, I'm Christina Larice of Yes TV and we are here with Matea Roach, Jeopardy champion. Matea, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I still feel surreal to hear the words Jeopardy champion after my name, but it feels really good. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm excited to be here with you and just get inside your mind to learn about who you are and what it was like for you being on Jeopardy. But to start, we'll ask you, how was it like growing up for you in Halifax and how did you get to Toronto? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, yeah, as you said, I'm originally from Halifax. Um, I did move around the country a fair amount as a kid. So uh, from birth to around about age six, I lived in Halifax. Um, then moved to Calgary in 2004, was there for a couple of years, moved to Dieppe near Moncton in 2007, was there for a couple of years, and then was back in Halifax from 2010 until 2015 uh, to do all of high school. So I would say I really enjoyed living in Halifax as both a young child and also as a teenager. Um, I loved being close to family, um, spending a lot of time with especially my older cousins when I was quite young, that was something I really enjoyed. Um, and just like the environment in Halifax, I find people there are very friendly. People there are always so supportive. Um, you know, being a high school student who was going away to like debate tournaments or doing school plays or whatever, there was always a great community of people that wanted to show up and support. But in terms of how I came to Toronto, um, I knew when I finished high school that I wanted to experience living in a bigger city. And so my options were very much, you know, do I want to go to Montreal or do I want to come to Toronto? And I had visited both cities a number of times when I was in high school, but I had family here. Uh, I knew a number of people that were a bit older than me who already went to the University of Toronto and who really had good things to say about their experiences there. So at the end of the day, I decided this was where I wanted to start the next chapter of my life. And I, yeah, I did five years of undergrad here and then stayed afterwards because I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And being at U of T, which is a great school in the city, do you feel like that in some way prepared you to be on Jeopardy <laughs> with, your, with the skills that you learned through university? Yeah, I mean, I think honestly, the thing about U of T that probably helped me the most was that I was exposed to such a wide range of people studying different things. Um, I was very involved in my college at U of T at Trinity. And so I had friends that were not necessarily in the same program as me, uh, people who were studying like English or history or international relations who, you know, we'd talk amongst ourselves about their our coursework. And so being exposed to a variety of different ways of thinking and people that were getting really into different subject matter in depth, I think helped me retain a lot of just like obscure facts and information that ended up being helpful on Jeopardy. Like there were definitely moments when I was at the show where I would associate a specific response that I came up with with, OK, yeah, I wouldn't have maybe known that if it weren't for this person. So I think that that was the thing that was probably the most helpful. Um, but as well, I mean, just U of T is like a tough school, I'm not going to lie. Um, so in terms of being able to handle stress, uh, certainly that's something that helps you on Jeopardy. So I'd say that's the other major way in which it was useful. Mm -hmm. So fast forward, you are auditioning for Jeopardy. How did you get there and what made you want to be on the show? Yeah, so I think Jeopardy was something that was always in the back of my mind as a thing that would be really cool to do, but it was I would not say it was like a lifelong dream that I had because for me, I like for my dreams to have a veneer of uh, realism to them. Like I want it to be something I can actually work for and accomplish. And Jeopardy just seemed like something that was only going to happen if I was crazy lucky. Uh, and that is what ended up happening, but it wasn't like I was every year auditioning. Actually, the only time I ever tried out for the show was the audition, you know, the, the test that eventually resulted in me getting to go on. So the reason why I ended up auditioning, I would say, first of all, um, I was bored. I auditioned during fall of 2020 when we were in the second wave of the pandemic. And I was spending a couple of months at my parents' house. Uh, I had been supposed to be there for six weeks. And then because of the Atlantic bubble and like the travel restrictions at the time, I thought, you know, I may as well just stay here a while longer because I don't know if I leave when I'm going to be able to come back. So I was bored at home like so many other people my age were, and I thought, why not give this test a shot? But I think the real catalyzing event was actually during the time that I was at my parents, Alex Trebek passed away. Mm. And so Jeopardy was in the news a lot. A lot of people were expressing their fond memories of having watched the show I, you know, with family and friends, with him as this iconic host figure and somebody that as Canadians we were so proud to see on American television. And I guess like reading back even my journal entries from the time, I was clearly thinking about the show a lot. And so I think that's what prompted me to choose that specific time to audition is I was like, well, there's literally nothing to lose <laughs> by doing this. It's a 15 minute online test. The worst thing that happens is you just don't hear back. Um, and the best thing that happens is you win a bunch of money. <laughs> so I feel very lucky and blessed that that happened to me.